Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. And we begin with a nine-year-old from Weston, Massachusetts, getting words of encouragement and a White House invitation from the leader of the free world. Avery Negrelli has struggled with a stutter for years and because President Biden has long been open about his own speech impediment, hoped to meet him someday. She got her chance on the island of Nantucket this past weekend. Avery told reporters, he pulled me aside and told me what he does when he stutters. If the words ever got stuck in his cheek, he took a deep breath and tried again. According to Avery's mom, the president also said, this will not define you. You can be anything you want to be. Look at me. I'm the president of the United States. I've had a stutter all my life. The new friends with a shared challenge are expected to have lunch in Washington, D.C. someday soon. High-flying junk is again causing headaches for NASA. The agency had to postpone yesterday's planned spacewalk outside the International Space Station when it spotted incoming debris. The astronauts didn't have to shelter in place or plan for an emergency evacuation, but their six-hour excursion to fix an antenna was shelved in the name of safety. Did the cosmic garbage in question come from the satellite detonated by Russia two weeks ago? NASA isn't saying. But given that the space station moves at nearly five miles per second, any impact could be catastrophic, regardless of the source. The goat of golf is going part-time. Tiger Woods spoke publicly yesterday for the first time since a serious car accident in Southern California last February. He said he's lucky to be alive and lucky to still have his right leg, something that apparently wasn't guaranteed in the first days after the crash. Now, nine months later, he says he's only halfway through his rehabilitation and, even when complete, doesn't see himself ever returning to the game full time. Going forward, he says he'll have to be satisfied with a little hit and giggle. But don't count him out entirely. He's come back from serious injury before and yesterday even floated the idea of playing in the British Open, which takes place at the historic St. Andrews in Scotland next summer. A soap and beauty brand favorite of teens is calling it quits on most social media. Lush and its colorful bath bombs are bidding adieu to Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok in the interest of mental health. Product inventor Jack Constantine said in the press release, I pour all of my efforts into creating products that help people switch off, relax, and pay attention to their well-being. But fine-tuned algorithms designed to keep people scrolling, he believes, are getting in the way of quality downtime. Lush will remain on Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube, but the company says there's no need to turn on notifications. Instead, check in with them only when you feel like it. Parents, do you remember your woodshop project? Fifteen students at Rhode Island's Westerly High School sure will. They've spent the semester building a surprise bus stop for a local elementary school student. Five-year-old Ryder Killam has a spine disorder, spina bifida, and uses a wheelchair every day. Until now, he and his parents have had to wait for his ride shielded only by an umbrella tied to a fence. So the team raced to finish before weather caught the family out in the cold again. Now Ryder's early mornings are better and warmer. The shed is ADA approved, has windows and a bench, and is roomy enough for Ryder's parents to wait with him. In the winter, Dad will rig up a heat lamp to keep everyone toasty warm. Pretty safe to say the construction team got A's all around for giving back to the community. In other Kid News notes, a rare deep-sea monster has washed ashore in Southern California. The Pacific football fish typically makes its home 2,000 to 3,000 feet underwater, where sunlight can't reach and the prying eyes of humans don't exist. But the prehistoric-looking beast with razor-sharp teeth recently made an appearance on a San Diego beach for the first time in 20 years. The man who found it called it the stuff of nightmares. Football fish like this one can grow up to three feet long and weigh more than 100 pounds. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News quiz. What speech disorder does nine-year-old Avery Negrelli share with President Biden? A stutter. Why was yesterday's planned spacewalk postponed? (laughs) 
NASA detected incoming space junk. Which beauty brand is canceling most of its social media presence in the interest of mental health? Lush. Football fish typically live how deep in the Pacific Ocean? Two to three thousand feet. In today's Kid News Kicker, to call this library book overdue would be an understatement. The New Chronicles of Rebecca, originally borrowed from the public library in Boise, Idaho, 111 years ago, was just checked back in. The fine for procrastinating readers used to be two cents per day, which would have set someone back $803. But like most libraries, fees at Boise's library have been waived to encourage more people to bring back old books without worry. Before we go, it's time to shout out our teachers and their classrooms, starting with Coach Shabria at BD Samani in Mumbai, India. Miss Jeanette at the Children's Learning Center in Roosevelt, New York. Ms. Estes at Meadowview in Radcliffe, Kentucky. Mrs. Wimpy at Social Circle Elementary in Social Circle, Georgia. And Mr. Bridgman at Maud Abrams in North Cape May, New Jersey. Thanks for listening. Please check out our swag store for t-shirts, sweatshirts, and backpacks at www.kidnews.org. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.